Hey guys, so here's the third video to my Verizon Note 3 series. Uh, this video is going to be showing you how to install SafeStrap onto your Verizon Note 3. And what SafeStrap is, is it acts as a bootloader to allow you to boot into multiple ROMs. And what it does is you have your stock ROM, which is the ROM that you have currently on your phone. If you saw my last video, you should be on MJ7 already rooted and, and good to go with that. Or you can have various other ROM slots uh, which are called safe ROMs and you can just experiment with various ROMs that you want to use or you can just have one that you use all the time which is what I'm going to show you I use hyperdrive and I'll show you how to get SafeStrap installed and, and all that alright so first thing you need to do is you need to install SafeStrap onto your phone so as you see here I'm on the XDA developers forum um, all you have to go is download it and to download it all you have to do is go down to the downloads and you have to confirm that you are using a Verizon wireless Samsung Note 3 which is what I'm using uh, so the latest file is the 365 APK just go ahead and download it from the first link here and just select this last one right here which is the latest one go ahead and download that now I already have it installed but I will show you the process either way alright so it should start automatically and it is go ahead and save that and then once you have that saved just go ahead and copy it over to your SD card or your internal it really doesn't matter as long as you can access it on your phone so let's go ahead and go to the phone and I'll show you how to install SafeStrap and so we can, can begin using it and I can show you all the things you can do with various ROMs and such so let's go ahead and go to the phone Okay, so before we install SafeStrap, uh, you should already have the APK downloaded and placed it on your SD card or internal storage. Uh, before we do that, you're going to have to allow unknown sources to be able to install things onto your phone. So just in settings, scroll down to security and just select unknown sources here. Make sure that's checked and that will allow you to install that. So now we can go and uh, just go and navigate over to wherever you have the SafeStrap APK and go ahead and click that to begin the installation. So this should pop up after you select the APK. Just go ahead and install and it begins the installation and it is installed. So go ahead and open it. It's gonna ask for super user access. Go ahead and grant. And that's it. So this is the SafeStrap APK installed which will allow you to actually install SafeStrap onto your phone. So just select that first option of install recovery as you see mine's already installed but go ahead and install recovery and down here it should say that it was successful. Once that's complete just go ahead and reboot to recovery and it will reboot right into recovery and then we can continue on from there. Okay so now it's restarting uh, just let it restart and then you're gonna catch it on one of the screens here in a second should automatically go to it there we go so I don't know how the focus is on this um, sorry I, I really can't fix it much uh, but this is safe strap uh, and what this allows you to do is to install various ROMs onto your phone and here's an example on on the computer screen of the ROM that I'm using I'm using hyperdrive by sbreen94 on the XDA developers forum I use it as my daily driver so I use it daily. It has no bugs and it has a variety of cool little tweaks and stuff that I use every day. And you can read into it here on this webpage. Uh, if you like, I can make a complete review on it. Uh, but it gives you, it, it removes all the bloatware from Verizon. Um, and as you saw, this probably went, it went black because you can, it kind of goes into a screensaver mode. So it conserves battery. Uh, but back to the ROM. So, all you have to do is go all the way down to the download center and just download uh, the RLS3 which is the latest one as of today just open that up and then just download the zip file it is a gig uh, 1.2 gigabytes so it is a pretty big file to download but go ahead and download that real quick I personally have it on my phone already and it's already installed uh, but I can show you what the process kind of is on SafeStrap so I'm going to go ahead and uh, wake up my phone. So you could just tap it and it has this. Just swipe to unlock. I don't know how blurry it's going to be, 
but you can get the idea by where it is on the screen. All you have to do, uh, I'll show you my boot options, and as you see, you have the stock ROM here on the right side, and what that stock ROM does, it, it keeps your official, per se, it's customized and rooted, um, but it's still technically official firmware. You can keep that on the stock ROM right there, and it'll keep it nice and safe on its own partition, and you don't have to worry about messing up your phone or soft breaking it, because that's always there. Of course, always do a backup uh, of your whole entire drive from recovery just to play it safe but this is just another layer of security so as you see here on ROM slot 1 which is currently activated I already have the RLS 3 installed on there uh, so this is ROM slot 1 you can rename it you can do whatever you want but that's where I'm at right now with the hyperdrive ROM so how do you do this well as you see mine's currently active uh, but if you were to push on that ROM slot 1 you would get what I have on stock ROM which is the big old activate button go ahead and activate it it'll take a while building the ROM slot and then you're good to go on installing stuff to it now I'm not gonna go into much in depth I'll probably make a whole separate video if y'all want me to go more in depth into installing ROMs and how to do them and all that stuff but just quickly going through it uh, once you already have the uh, ROM slot 1 on your boot options just go to install and go and navigate to wherever you have that zip file you just downloaded so I'm gonna navigate over to my SD card so for that I'm on uh, the forward slash which is the root of all of your phone and then I go to external underscore SD that's where the SD card is then uh, at the very bottom right there you probably won't be able to see it but that is the RLS so you just select that and then you'll go into this screen uh, and you want to make sure that everything is uh, clean and wiped on your drive uh, again if you want me to show you more in depth how to do all this stuff I'll make another video uh, but just to quickly show you can just swipe and it will flash it I'm not going to do it for obvious reasons it will wipe my current ROM but that's all you have to do swipe and flash so that is a quick run through with SafeStrap and what its capabilities are uh, if you want a more in depth video uh, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below um, requesting that and that's it you should have safe strap installed on your phone and you should be able to install ROMs and such I'll leave a link in the description down below to these two web pages one for the safe strap recovery forum and one for the uh, ROM that I'm using currently and that's it if you followed all my videos up to this date then you have a stock MJ7 rooted firmware uh, that should be your stock and now with safe strap and then from there you can do a whole bunch of other things so this was on how to install safe strap if you guys like I can make another video on what safe strap is going more in depth on what it's all about how to install ROMs and how to just get your head wrapped around what this is doing but essentially what it's doing is allowing you to partition your internal storage so you can run more than one ROM um, you can almost call it as little operating systems they're just different flavors of the same thing which in this case is stock if you found this video informative please be sure to give me a like on this video and also subscribe I will be having a whole bunch of other videos on tips and tweaks and mods that I've done to my phone especially with the hyperdrive ROM there's a lot of things that you can do with it so go ahead and subscribe and you'll get those videos as soon as they come out and leave a comment down below if you want to see more videos on what SafeStrap and all these ROMs are about so make sure you guys do that please so I know y'all are watching these videos and so we can get some communication going out there guys alright so that's it thank you and you will have a good one